Yeah, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here at Velocity Conference. Um, within the next five minutes, I will tell you something about how mobile application performance uh, is done at Runtastic. So do we have any Runtastic users here in the audience? Yes, yeah, some hands ri raising, yeah? <laughs> Perfect. So um, what is Runtastic? A short explanation. So Runtastic is a mobile fitness uh, and healthcare company whose products make exercise easy and fun. So how does this work? So you take your GPS-enabled smartphone, go out for a run or for a road bike activity, and you start the application, and the application then automatically tracks uh, the route you, you do. It tracks the distance you cover, it tracks the elevation gain you take, and it also takes your calories. If you have completed your activity, you can then upload the activity and share, share it with your friends, either on the Runtastic platform uh, and also on Facebook and Twitter. So for us, we don't have only one single application. We have specialized applications also for mountain bikers, for road bikers, for walking, or for winter sports. We have applications on four different platforms, iOS, Android, BlackBerry, and Windows Phone. And overall, we have 37 applications we have to um, yeah, support, and where we have to ensure excellent user experience. So it's not the application itself which is uh, relevant for delivering an excellent user experience. It's also the whole uh, back-end system. So on the one hand side, we have our mobile end users, and we have our web end users. On the mobile side, we have a direct connection to Facebook to third-party content. We also have a cloud delivery network, or a content delivery network. Uh, so, um, and then our core backend application, where we have dedicated application servers for our mobiles and for our web. We have different database technology. We have SQL databases, NoSQL databases. And moreover, we have then again some additional external services. So you see we have a really complex environment, many applications, and also a large backend. And to ensure a really good user experience, each of these components um, is relevant. And for us, uh, so we have here the headline, millions of blind spots. Normally, you, have only, uh, you only see the single component. So you have log files in the mobile, and you have log files uh, on, the, on your backend system, on your application servers. And our goal was to have a real end-to-end -end view of our whole system. And we used the Dynatrace user experience management software from CompuWare to achieve this goal. And I will give you now two concrete examples uh, where we had to deal with user experience and how we could improve it. So there was an issue with a third-party uh, app. It was uh, Facebook in this case. So two months ago or three months ago, suddenly the Facebook uh, error rate from the Facebook logins increased dramatically. And first of all, we didn't know uh, what was causing this. And with the Dynatrace UM, we have seen, OK, the errors only come from Android applications. So we know, OK, we have to investigate here. And the reason was, so Facebook changed something. So the access token uh, was only valid for 60 days normally. But in our case, it was only valid for two, day, for two hours because there was some misconfiguration in the backend. So we could fix this in the backend, and our users were happy again, and the Facebook login error rate decreased. Another thing is, so crashy po crashes on your mobile app are one of the worst things you can do <laughs> for your users. So if the app crashes, it's really bad, of course. But often, the app does not crash, but the user has a, a bad user experience. So for example, imagine you go out for a run and set a new record for your 10K run. And so you are very proud of it. And of course, you want to share it with your friends. So you upload it, but the upload fails. So your mood suddenly changes from being very proud and happy to very sad and angry and yeah. So what you do is you give maybe a one star rating in the App Store, which is very bad for an app developer. Or more better, you call the support and um, give us some feedback. But using the Dynatrace um, uh, software, we can immediately figure out where the problem was. So again, we have this end-to-end -end view, so we know what actions have happened on the mobile side, 
what was done on our application servers, what was done in the database, so where was the error. And so we can um, detect errors, errors much more faster and increase user experience again. So that was a quick introduction to our work on user experience. Um, thanks for your attention and keep on running and enjoy the show. <laughs>